guys, Michelle here from Sparkle My Pink, and today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video on the Bedhead TG Curly Pops 1 inch curling iron. It is a straight clipless curling iron. I have done other reviews and video demos on TG products before. I did it on the reverse one, which looks like this, as well as the rock and roll bubble um, type one. So check those out. I will link them in the description box below. So, like I said, this is a straight one inch barrel, whereas compared to the reverse one, it starts off at an inch and then goes down to, I believe, a half an inch. So it gives just two different types of curls. So um, I don't know if I have a preference between the two because I really just depends on what I want my look to look like today. Today I just want big, voluminous, you know, curls and waves and just lots of volume. So I'm going to be using the one inch. And I have also recently reviewed and did a demo video on the Infinity on the Infinity Pro by Con Air Curl Secret. Looks like this. Gizmo thingy majigger. And I really like using this. I had a field trip to go do with my son last week and I just needed to do my hair real quick. I wanted it to look nice. I was gonna be seeing other parents so I went ahead and used this and it's just really quick. It gives more of a spiral curl, whereas the straight one is just going to give a little bit more volume. Um, also, this is a three-quarter inch barrel inside of there, and this is a one inch. So those are the differences between my three favorite curling irons or wands or gizmos or whatever that I own, and let's get into the tutorial. As always, don't forget to spritz your hair with a protectant spray. I like to use the Got To Be Heat Protectant guardian angel and you're also going to want to section off the top of your hair. Hey guys, so I just figured out that I filmed half the video with the camera lens on, so I'm just going to talk over it a bit here. Uh, right here I am curling a piece away from my face, a one inch piece, and holding it there for a bit. Then as I release it, I hold it with my glove hand to just kind of let it set and cool for a second. I do wear the protective glove because I tend to be a bit lazy about where my fingers are next to the hot barrel, so I do wear that. And here I am curling a piece of hair towards my face to kind of give the whole look a little more dimension. My hair is fully curled right now and it is cooled off, so I'm going to go ahead and spritz it with a light hole hairspray. This is the cashmere got to be um smoothing spray and i just like to lift up the hair give it a couple light spritz wait for that to dry i'm gonna go ahead and smooth in the healthy sexy hair argan oil moroccan argan oil or whatever this thing is called soy renewal i love the love this i have been using the sample size since like may or something like that when i received it in my ipsy bag but i have purchased a full size one so this is like a holy grail product for me I use it almost every day so there's a little insight to one of my most current favorite items I also wanted to show you how I store my curling wands now I don't want them to get scratched and you know I'm kind of like persnickety about that but my mom crocheted me these like washcloth slash um oven mitt dish cloth thingy thingies anyways my mom knit these things and they were absolutely adorable but I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use them for and then I started rolling like this rolling my hot irons while I wait for them to cool down a little bit in there and then, and then it keeps it in this cute little cocoon and protects it and even if it is a little bit warm it's not gonna do anything to the fabric and then I just kind of twirl around the cord to keep it on there. I know you're not supposed to twirl the curl the cord ugh. I know you're not supposed to twirl the cord around it but I mean how else are you supposed to store the bird so whatever. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of this Moroccan Argan oil on my hand just a tiny 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 little bit. Run it through my fingers and break up these curls because I really want that big voluminous look. I have lots of flyaways up here. We'll go ahead and fix those up in a minute. I'm really just being a little bit rough on my hair to break up the ringlets that the wand makes. And for this, I'm just gonna Oh, 
and I just lift it up so it doesn't like look so flat. And that is it for curling my hair with the Bedhead Curly Pops straight one inch curling wand. I can go ahead and style and pin up my bangs or whatever I wish from here. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to check out my blog at sparklemepink.com. Check out my other hair tutorials. I'll link them down in the description box. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those great social media places. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.